I got another computer to check out today. This is a, oh, it's a, I don't know if this is actually what's in the box, but my coworker got a new computer when this one quit working for some reason or another. I don't know if it's actually what's in here. Yeah, it is an XPS. Hmm. The box says XPS 420. I wonder if that's actually what it is. Let me get it out and put it on the bench. That thing was a lot heavier than I expected it to be. But there was some other stuff in the box too. It looks like a pair of speakers, power cable, mouse, keyboard. Looks like it's never been opened either. Must have used an existing keyboard or something. And some CDs. One of them must be in the computer or missing. Sweet. I'm gonna take the cover off this thing and see what kind of goodies are inside it. Here's what's inside it. Looks like there's just one hard drive. Kind of reminds me of the Dimension 5100 that I used to have. Only this one's slightly bigger inside and laid out a little different. <clears throat> It's got that same kind of tall power supply though. It's a 375 watt. And I think you can still use a normal power supply in these cases, uh, but the, there'll be a gap from the extra height. Uh, I never did really care for these funky BTX form factor designs Dell's been using for a while. They used to use ATX, and they don't anymore. It's got a big heat pipe cooler in it. Spare drive mounting screws. PCI Express. I'm not sure what kind of card that is, but it's not very big. It looks like they do give you a PCI Express power connector if you need it. It's not a bad looking computer for what it is. It's got card reader, ports, Core 2 quad inside, Windows Vista. Looks like the vent's pretty clogged too. What's up here? Sweet. Looks like there's like a display or something up here. Hmm. The front of the case is so shiny I can see myself in it. I'm gonna get the dust all cleaned out of this and hook it up and see if I can get the software reinstalled this would be a sweet workbench computer well I got most of the dust out with the air compressor but there's still a little bit in there because it seems to be kind of stuck to it and I got this little video card out here it's a Radeon HD 5450 512 mags 64 bit Pretty small card. At least it's got HDMI and DVI on it though. And they do give you three different lengths of PCI Express slots. Only one of them is a full full speed slot though. And the usual quick release card retention bracket that Dell uses. The interesting thing is the slot for the video card actually uses a screw still. So if you have a bulky video card uh, it'll be more securely mounted the rest of the slots are all just a retaining pin but that's pretty neat I guess it's time to see if this thing's gonna fire up and uh, get the software reinstalled I don't know if the hard drive's got anything wrong with it or not I really don't know the the status of the whole system at all so I'll find out in a minute got it all hooked up Let's juice this thing and see what it does. I'm going to get into setup here. It's going to go sweet. Huh. wonder what this thing on top here is. Because there's all the, the 
the usual four Dell status lights and, and other stuff there. Well, maybe this is only functional in Windows. Hmm. Core 2 Quad Q6600. Three gigs of RAM. It's a little slower than I expected. It's only DDR2. Hmm. Well, let's see what the state of disrepair the software is in. I think they were trying to install a Windows 7 upgrade on this before they. Uh, decided to just get a new computer, so I got to format it either way. Is a CD in the drive? <clears throat> uh oh, it's stuck. Doggone it. Give me that disc. There it goes. Hmm. Windows disc. Sweet. Well, I guess I'll put it right back in. Reboot. This thing's actually got a Blu-ray drive in it too. That's kind of cool. It's too bad this is a 32-bit version of uh, Windows Vista, so I can't put much more RAM in there than the three gigs it already has. It just it won't take advantage of it. Uh, still, not too bad though. I don't have a lot of experience with Windows Vista. I used it for a really short time, you know, back when it was new. I did have it on my main computer. And uh, right after, not even a year after I got it, uh, I upgraded to Windows 7. So I don't have a lot of, a lot of time invested in the Vista. What time I had into it, I usually spent waiting for it to load. But that was way back when I had my old dual core AMD. I'm going to go through the install on this so I got something fresh to do and, and uh, see how far I can get with this. Hopefully everything's going to work. Gotta love waiting for Windows to load. It was sitting in a black screen for quite a while and then just rebooted itself so it must be finishing up some settings. Hard to believe how much longer Windows Vista really takes versus Windows 7 when you're doing an install. With Windows 7 it seems to be 20 minutes on average, you know, from first start to first appearance of the desktop, you know, even on the slower computers I've installed it on. I've been uh, working on this for a while longer than that already and it's still not done. 
I had to take the cover back off because I figured out the uh, optical drive is actually getting hung up on the front cover. Let's try again. Ah, there we go. It was actually hitting the inside of this cover and that was why it wasn't opening. But check out this little LCD in here. That is really cool. Hmm. Never seen anything like that before on uh, a computer. I mean, I've seen it, but I've never had one, so that's pretty sweet. I wonder what I can do with this. Anyway, time to get out the driver disc. It's the world's smallest version of Salatair. I wonder how you're supposed to play it on, on this anyway. I guess it's a moot point. But it's going to be interesting to see what else can run on this little display. I don't think it's real time or anything. I, I think it just uh, has onboard memory and it downloads you know, information from the motherboard whenever it's told to and it just runs on its own. I'm not really sure. This is just one of the sample songs that came with Windows. I'm actually playing through the speakers that are built in the wall there, connected to this little amplifier, a little test amp. Windows is chugging along, downloading automatic updates. It's taking forever. Hmm. They show you, they give you a lot of music with uh, the newer versions of Windows. It's like rock and roll elevator music almost. Definitely. <laughs> well, I just gotta let this thing update everything and I guess I'm good to go. I wonder if there's any other drivers that need to be... Huh, I couldn't check for updates, I wonder why. Whatever. Let's see. Internet Explorer 9. Oh no. I'll do that later if it insists because I normally use Firefox. Let's see, computer. Check the device manager. Never did understand why Windows needs permission to go into its own device manager on Vista. That's kind of stupid. Okay, no, no warnings, so everything must be installed. I'll finish updating this thing and uh, maybe I'll post an update on it later. I just wanted to show overview of the hardware because beyond this point it's just normal running programs and surfing the web and stuff. Nothing too exciting.